This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner Studio. This is your host, Tom, and with me as always are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. Hello. Sorry. That yeah, pause I, don't know. I paused. That was weird. I, that was off. That was I paused. Like, yeah. I, I I'm did not pause. on my game. game changer. Yeah. It's, a game it's changer. because during the regular episode, you go one by one. I know. But during these, you always do the Aaron, Together. Michael, and Diana. I've been Together. a little off all day. So when you paused, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm supposed to say hello. <laughs> and we are joined by our friend, um, known throughout the internet as Balt uh, Amor Hun. <laughs> Balt Amor Hun. <laughs> He's never going to get that. Oh, no, you're not. It's, it's just not. That was right, wasn't it? Balt Amor Hun? <gasps> yeah, it's, it's Balt yes, Amor Yes, I think you got it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You or in the real it. world as Melanie. Hi, Melanie. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi. You might remember Melanie as uh, our special guest or one of our two guests when we reviewed Rockin' the Knob. Rockin', Rockin the, the Knob. knob. What, what is that race called? Rockin', Rockin knob. the Knob. Rockin', the, Rockin knob. the Knob. <laughs> the knob. You guys always rough. said Rock the Knob, which is kind of the same thing. It just sounds dirtier. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. All right, this is a this is a family friendly podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, and I'm never I'm never doing that madness. <laughs> uh, Melanie, have you heard what Thomas has done? I did. I heard that you perhaps decided to sign up for the half marathon at Rock in the Knob. I did. Congratulations! I just bit the bullet. We'll see what happens. I'll be ready for the distance. We'll we'll see. Anything past that is just you know icing on the cake yeah well you can run with me so we can do that one together that'll be great if if you agree to simply leave me for dead when i ask you to (laughs) (laughs) it's that and then just be ready to like get hit get yelled at the entire time about where your feet are i'm so (laughs) nervous i'm already nervous i'm already nervous (laughs) All right. All right. So, Melanie, um, you should know the format. We're going to ask you some running related questions, some non running related questions and get to know you. But before we do that, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Um, so I am Melanie or Baltimore on as everyone on the Internet now knows me. <laughs> Um, I'm from Baltimore. Originally, I was uh, born in Westminster, but I grew up in Baltimore. Um, I moved out to California for a couple of years, and now I live in Snacktown, Pennsylvania. So I'm in good old Hanover, um, and I love it here. I love it. We're we're close to a lot of trails. We have a big, beautiful park that's close by. So it's a, it's a great place to be. Awesome. Well, we're going to jump into our running related questions. Um, First one, and I love this question. What place would you most like to run in the world or do you have a bucket list race? Um, I think I would have to say somewhere out West. I lived in California for about five years, but I didn't run when I lived there. And I wish I would have because there's so many cool places to run out there. So many great trails and I didn't get to experience any of that. So I would love to go back out there and do that sometime. So. Oh, gotcha. You go out and run Big Sur with Aaron and Michael. That would be nice. Mm. (laughs) Yes. Super excited to, to run in California for the first time. Um, what is your post, f- uh, boo, what is your post run food or drink? Um, so if it's a short run, I like to just do chocolate milk or something simple. Um, but if it's a race or if it's a long run, I am McDonald's all the way. Like I want, <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I want French fries. I want a Coke. So yeah. long runs or races, that is always my go-to. I never stay for post race food. I'm like, nope, I want McDonald's. <laughs> so it's always my favorite michael loves the chocolate milk as we hear every single time i can do the mcdonald's i can't do the chocolate yeah everyone always does the chocolate milk you're like in the way minority on that one yeah yeah it's a good one okay also you know you can just go to mcdonald's right yeah (laughs) (laughs) you know it feels so much better when you ran a nice Mm -hmm. long run and then you go eat it just yeah it's true 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 story it's it really does 
<laughs> uh, do you prefer group or solo runs? Definitely solo. I'm just not getting comfortable with running with one other person, but definitely a solo runner. All right. What is your favorite thing to see or have at an aid station? Um, I think I get really happy when there's Coke or peanut mm. M&Ms, I think are definitely oh. two of my favorite ones. I love that. Well, especially if you train with Coke, it, it's you can't carry it with you. No. Like, so you have to have it like strategically placed. I know our friend Jennifer Hall, she's running the Baltimore Marathon and like was trying to convince someone to like meet her at a certain mile marker to give her her Coke because she had trained with it. That's very, very sweet. I like when there's just like a nice little shot of Coke at an aid station. You can just kind of mm. run by, grab it, and go. That's always yep. good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, a superstition question. Do you wear your race shirt or premium during the race or prior to finishing the race? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's just the same thing as like wearing the band's T-shirt to the concert. You can't do that. Don't be that guy. Ooh, yeah, that's right. controversial. It is controversial. <laughs> Not if you feel, watch well, the like... 90s classic PCU. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like we've had that that comment before that that's controversial, right? The Yeah. Like some people do where Well, the... in Europe it was different, remember? Well, no, that no, the the race shirt, but the band shirt. Oh, the that's band right. The band shirt makes that way more yeah. controversial. Yeah. Se- it feels like that's way more controversial than the race thing. Yeah, that's true. I feel like the race one seems to be pretty agreed upon. Yeah. yeah. In the United States. Yeah. It's the rate the the band shirt is uh, contentious that causes mm-hmm. some yeah. contention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going to move into some random questions. What song would be played on a loop in hell? Okay, so in hell for sure, the first song that comes to mind. And I don't know if you guys have heard this stupid, awful song. But the Christmas shoes <laughs> song. Have you heard the song? Oh my oh, god! Yes. <laughs> I feel like that is the exact song that would play on a loop in hell, just over and over and over again. It's Christmas and it's happy everywhere, and that stupid song comes on and just makes me <laughs> cry. I think that's exactly what would be on a loop. I have a vivid <laughs> memory of the first time I heard that song. I was like out Christmas shopping with my mom, and we're like driving and listening to the radio station. And then all of a sudden, like the the song starts taking a turn, and we're like, "What's happening? Is this actually happening? This can't be the song, right?" <laughs> it was so weird. Michael doesn't know what song we're talking about. It's like this. It's like a super sad, like. Oh really? Yeah, the mom is dying yeah. of cancer. The mom's di- oh, and wonderful. dying. He's buying, he's buying her <laughs> Christmas shoes, shoes. So when she meets Jesus, she has oh his my. shoes. Oh that's <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> awful. Oh my and god. And it's like and it's like ten minutes long. So that's it's really not long. even like it's really <laughs> long. Oh yeah. man. And, and they made a Hallmark movie that follows the song. Oh my god! Yes, Are we did. watching and I that? Think, oh. I think it's got Rob Lowe in it. <laughs> oh my god! Michael's like, "Are we watching that?" I guess we're gonna go find that. It's got um, Kimberly Williams Paisley in it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Is there a song that would be played on a loop in heaven for you? Um, definitely the Monster Mash. I'm pretty sure that's oh. just what on a loop in heaven. Monster Mash. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I love that answer. It's happy. It's good. Total opposite of Christmas shoes song. So yeah, very good. yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say so. Uh, we're very music heavy this time. Uh, what is one album you could listen to at any day or time and get lost in it? So one of my favorites, and I mean, I really could. I could put it on any day. Listen to every song on it. Is "Father of the Bride" by Vampire Weekend. I think that album mm. is just one of the best one of the best i don't dislike any song on it i love it i got to see them play it live it was excellent so definitely that one good answer if you could be a member of any tv family which would it be and why Ooh. i would love to be a member of the bird family from ozark i feel like that would just be a <laughs> fun life to live <laughs> Oh, very exciting, and my dad would be very cool. So, <laughs> uh, we ha- have you watched Ozark? 
Uh, I'm no, not fully, but I, I'm aware of it. Oh, aware I don't know what, what Ozark about, is. Yeah. I mean, I know who's in it, but I don't like have any idea what it's about. Highly recommend it for sure. Um, but I guess essentially, my dad is just laundering money through a casino, mm-hmm. all kinds of fun oh. stuff. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so does that make you rich? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm there for that. <laughs> what is the worst food you've ever eaten? We're very food and music heavy this episode. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, I think eel or sea urchin. I love sushi, mm. but those two things are just on the no list for sure. Mm. For mm. sure. And I like mm. a lot of weird food, but those are just two of the most awful things I've I've ever eaten. I think I like eel. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had sea urchin. Yeah, I don't think I've had urchin. Hmm. Okay. If you had to delete all but three apps from your smartphone, which ones would you keep? I would keep Strava, obviously. I mean, you can't not have Strava. Um, (laughs) Instagram, just because I feel like it's pictures, you know, so you're kind of getting to see stuff and not just have to listen to people's BS on Facebook all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I think probably AccuWeather. That'd be a good one, just so I can know what the weather's going to be like on a day-to-day basis. check the weather, yeah. So that you can use your Strava app to uh, go run. Exactly. Exactly. Well, now we uh, head into the James Lipton Memorial section of the uh, podcast, and we start off with, what is your favorite word? My favorite word? Just any word? Um, Any word. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I feel like if I'm being really honest, it's probably the F word. I feel like that's the one I say the most. So we'll go with that. It's terrible. I like that answer a lot. I like that answer a lot. Yeah, it's it's I'm valid. There for that. Very valid. Uh, what is your least favorite word? I don't like the word succulent, and I love succulents. Ooh, I love the plants. Yeah. I cannot stand the word. Can't stand the word. It is a weird what if it was word. A, what if it was a moist succulent? Oh, God. <laughs> the, the look on her face. In damp amazing. soil. Damp oh soil God. with a moist succulent. Oh, my God. All right, Tom. What is happening? Turn down the lights, Tom. All right. Now, All right. Well, now that transition. Michael set the stage, oh, God. I'm going to avoid eye contact and ask you, Melanie, what turns you on? Oh, I think an animal lover, somebody who just loves all animals. I think that's a huge turn on. It's a good that's answer. A good As the puppy peeks into the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what turns you off? Dress shoes with jeans. <laughs> that's a good one. And I think that also goes for high heels with jeans. I think I'm not sure, but definitely guys wearing dress shoes with jeans i tell tom that all the time i'm sorry he doesn't have a middle shoe he has dress shoes and he has tennis shoes so then when he wears a button down with jeans he wears like his work shoes (laughs) Mm. get some doc martens or something yeah 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 he needs like a neutral like casual shoe casual doc martin you're showing your age there with the doc martin no doc martins are back Yes. He's showing his youth. Uh, I am showing my connection to the youth of the world. Oh, God. The youth but you've culture. had those Doc Martens for like while they were out and then while the, and Look, now you're Doc just Martins lucky are, they're back Doc in. Doc Martens are timeless. You're what are we talking about here? What's happening? I just, Doc my Martins mom are found mine and I stole oh them back from her the other day. So I have oh my, my God, Doc that's Martins funny. in high school. Oh, my God. Oh, All right. God. What sound or noise do you love? So my dog makes the cutest, sweetest little like slapping sound with his mouth when he's eating something that he likes. It's like a smacking sound and it just makes me laugh every single time I hear it and it just makes me happy. So he's so happy. (laughs) What sound or noise do you hate? Um, my cat really likes to scratch our wall at about three o'clock every morning. Oh. And that sound has just become the worst thing to Ooh. me. Every time I hear it, it kind of makes me a little bit sick to my stomach. So, cause I know it's three oh, o'clock. God. Uh, we yeah. understand the three o'clock in the morning cat problems. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Do we? Yeah, this, this, I'm glad this to know it's common. God. 
I found out it's way too common. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? Oh, I, I feel like I mean, we I think make... obviously the F word, you know, it's my favorite word. Yeah. yeah. Favorite yeah. Curse word. <laughs> I, I feel like we were making that assumption, but yeah, one yeah. is never no, to assume. It's true. <laughs> Uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? So I always wanted to be a mortician. I thought that was really what I was going to go to school Jeez, for. No. Um, I went to school to be an esthetician. So I was working on skin and makeup and someone brought up, you know, you could be a mortician and actually work in a funeral home. And I thought that would be cool. And I thought it would be a nice service to provide to the family. Um, but I think I'm kind of glad I talked myself out of that. I thought it might just get a little bit depressing after a while just to be around <laughs> death so much. Um, so kind of on the flip side of that, I think I'd like to be an event planner, a party planner, something more celebratory. <laughs> Those are all kind of related, though. Yeah. yeah. You, know, it's just, you know, event planning, but just, you know, for different stages of life. <laughs> yeah. That's just not what I was expecting. That's okay. After, you what? Said, after you said the mortician. We had somebody uh, yeah, wanted had to do uh, medical a medical examiner, examiner last, recently. Last, yeah, we'll yes. have to see which episode came out first. Yeah, because now Michael may have spoiled that. I love you know. Spo- There's spoilers abounding. <laughs> Thanos uh, snapped or something. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, the Titanic sank. Spoiler alert. It's like things everybody knows already. Oh God! And uh, what profession would you not like to do? <laughs> um, I don't want to do anything in retail or customer care ever again for the rest of my life. Mm. Amen. Never, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> ever, 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 never, again. ever, never, never again, ever, ever. All right. So I get the honor of asking you our final question, but before I do, thank you very much for being with us. Absolutely. Today. Thank you guys for having me. So Absolutely. Yeah, super exciting. So, Melanie, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I would love for him to hand me a cup of coffee just the way I like it and tell me that all of the animals that I ever loved are waiting around the corner for me. Mm-hmm. I think that would just be my, you did good. Here's your reward for that. I think that Aww. Was- That's a great one. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Don't cry. Because I cry at everything now. (laughs) I love that. Do you have any uh, parting words of wisdom you'd like to impart on our listeners? Um, I would love to encourage everyone to go out and support their local trails. Um, I am on the rail trail authority in York County. So go out and support your local rail trails, your greenways, um, jump on a board, do some volunteer work, anything that you can just to promote having those green spaces and safe places for people to run and ride their bikes. Um, so definitely get out there and, and support those. That's awesome. That's a great, love it. And so before we let you go, can you please pronounce your Instagram handle one more time? <laughs> yeah, so it's Balt Amor Hun. So B A L T A M O U R H O N. Baltimore Hun. Like well, Amor, like love. Yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> Anywho. You said it was, it was me. It was very, I feel like it was very, like, the, the, she says it very quick and as like one word. You were like Balt. A uh, more Han. <laughs> He's just really emphasizing every part. Of- <laughs> That's what I do. I enunciate. Uh, well, thank you, Melanie, very much for being with us. So Absolutely. Great. Thank you guys for yes. having me. It was fun. It's always it's always good catching up with you. Thanks, and we guys. we will we will talk to you soon. All right. See, see ya. Bye. Bye. bye.